In this video, we talk about how to fix your anchor step for West Coast Swing. What's up, gang? Brian B, Miss Megan, West Coast Swing Online. We are bringing you how to fix your anchor step. We see three common problems. We're going to show them to you, and then we're going to give you solutions for those problems. Number one is the follower coming forward out of the anchor step on count six. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, where the follower steps forward on that left foot instead of being anchored behind. That's mistake number one. Number two is the follower backing all the way up and never getting connected. One, two, three three and four, she runs five and six and never gets connected into the one. That's number two is the follower backing all the way up. One, two, three and four, she just runs back and never creates a good connection. And number three is not dancing through our feet to allow some stretch. So the first two are super common. This is a little bit more advanced, um, but we might as well set things well up well in the first place. So as we dance the sugar push, if we dance flat footed, one, two, three and four, five and six. Even though it might look like the feet are correct, we're missing stretch, it doesn't feel very good. So the third mistake that we see in the anchor step is dancing it very flat footed. So it number one doesn't look very good and number two doesn't feel very good in the stretch. Cool, let's flip to the other side and let's talk about how we fix these three. The first and most common one is the follower not stepping uh, forward on the six. We wanna fix that. So one, two, three, three and four, the thought process starts on count four. On count four, we want, we want to have about half of our maximum connection. So we have some place to go. Now, the follower is going to put the left foot behind, the leader is going to put the right foot behind, five and six. So now our centers are connected away and we're able to have some stretch and we're anchored away, right? So that's mistake number one, making sure the left foot stays behind. We have to think about it on four so that we can put the left foot behind. Cool. Mistake number two is often generated by the leaders where they send the follower too far back and they never are able to create a nice connected away um, feeling on the end of the anchor. That one looks like this. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, and I drive her away so we're never connected. So that can be fixed both by the leader and the follower. From the leader standpoint, one, two, three, and four. I only want to give her enough energy to send her to the four and then we both anchor step from there. So as the leader, I don't wanna push her, I wanna be a wall and with my step forward, small step forward, lets her get to the end of this connection and we can anchor step. From the follower standpoint, even if you're getting sent backwards, you can use this arm to create the connection you want. One, two, three, and as I send her back, she just hunkers into that, even though I'm sending her, she's not going any further and then we can anchor step from there and the leader cluelessly thinks that he's amazing even though he's doing it wrong because the follower is um, absorbing that to make sure that she creates an anchor step away, a connection away. The third is a little bit more advanced and that's dancing through our feet heel to toe rather than flat footed, which flat footed gives me nowhere to go and hence no stretch and no style. So again, we're gonna start thinking about it on four, one, two, three and four, and from here we're both, leader and follower, are gonna think about rolling five and six. So number one, this gives us some style through our legs and our body, and number two, you can see that my center is moving away as I dance from the ball of my foot to the heel, and the follower does as well, and that creates a little stretch into the next pattern. So, quick recap, number one, make sure your three and four, your left foot stays behind for the follower, right foot for the leader, that's number one. Number two, make sure that the followers don't run away and never get connected. So we wanna keep that short, one, two, three, and four, and establish a post and anchor away. And number three, as we get better, we wanna be able to roll through our feet to create that stretch, rolling ball of the foot to the heel, one, two, three, and four, and we roll through our feet, which gives us some connection into the next step. So there's three keys to improving your West Coast Swing anchor step. Now, if you're looking to uh, expand on that, we've got an awesome video, five ways to style your anchor step. Click in the corner, um, we will give you five different things you can do that will incorporate good technique and some style into your anchor step. Hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you again soon.